Delilah wants to join a gym. She shops around to find one with the lowest overall price. She's not sure how long she'll be a gym member. She finds Harbor Square Athletic Club is running a special. Only It only charges $25 uh, initi for initiation fee plus $87 per month. Okay, so 25 bucks to sign up and then for each month, $87. The YMCA charges $100 to join, so that's the initiation fee, and then $72 per month. So the Harbor Square, low to start, but more per month. The YMCA is high to start, but lower per month. So at first, you know, we can kind of look to see what happens here. I'm just gonna set up a table before I do more. If I compare the number of months, to each one, so we have, I'm just gonna abbreviate Harbor Square versus YMCA. Uh, initially zero, Harbor Square is only 25, but YMCA is $100. And then one month later, and, and again here I'm looking at total cost, it would be 87 plus 25, which would be, $112. So add 87 to that. And I think that gives me 112. 112. Yep. And the YMCA, they only add $72 per month to your bill. And so that would be a total of 172. So at first, Harbor Square is, is a better deal, but you're paying 15 bucks more a month. So eventually, uh, YMCA should uh, be a better deal. Uh, so we kind of want to look into the future and see when is the YMCA better. Because at first, Harbor uh, Square is better. So if she's only going to go for a few months, Harbor Square is a good deal. But if she's going to go for a long term, YMCA is probably a better deal. And here we're kind of asked to figure out, well, when is the YMCA less expensive? And again, it's got to be less expensive eventually because it's less per month, that per month right there. So anytime we're giving something, and, and this, I keep meaning to write to the person who wrote this problem, they wrote a month, which is kind of slang. What they really mean is per month. Um, and the monthly fee here means $72 per month. And anytime I have like something like dollars per month, those are slopes. So in terms of my y equals mx plus b, I'm given m with these 87 and the 72, and then the, the values of b are those initiation, those initial amounts to join. So those are my values for b for each of those. Then they want me to write equations here. They want me to use c for cost. So I'm gonna use c instead of a y, and M instead of months. So the C for the Harbor Square has a monthly of 87, so that would be 87 per month plus the 25 bucks to sign up. And then for the YMCA, their cost is only $72 per month plus the $100. So those are the first two things I would enter for this problem here. Under what conditions uh, would it be less expensive to join and stay with the YMCA? And so then we're trying to look into the future to see, okay, how many months have to go by before the YMCA is finally a better deal? And we could make a table where we keep adding 87 over and over again, adding 72 over and over again and see where they change. Spreadsheet would be a great way to do that. I'll show how to do that in a minute. The, the main intent to do this problem was just to exercise our skills in looking at a situation and saying, hey, is this a linear equation? And then the other thing was, can we solve uh, a, a, an, a, an expression that comes up with uh, linear things like this? And to, to answer that, I wanna know, first I wanna try to find out when are the same. And that, for that I would set them equal. So I would take the 87m plus 25, set it equal to the 72m plus 100, and then try to solve for the m here. 
so I'll do that and then I'll try a spreadsheet to see what happens. And I'm gonna go to a new page so I have some room to work. So in this situation here, uh, I think I would probably start by getting rid of the plus 25 by doing a minus 25. And since it doesn't have an M, it has to be paired with the 100 for addition and subtraction. So 25 minus 25 is zero. So on this left side, I'm, I'm only left with the 87 per month. On the other side, I still have the 72 per month plus 100 minus 25 is 75. Since I brought the 25 to the right, I'm gonna take the 72 M to the left so I can get the M's together. So since that's a positive thing being added, I'm gonna subtract it. So on the right side, 87 minus 72 is 15 per month, difference between them. And on the other side, the 72M minus 72M, that's gone, that's a zero, plus 75 is just 75. And last, I can divide by 15. Get rid of that multiplication with a division. So M equals whatever 75 divided by 15 is. I think that's around five. Calculator, 75 over 15 is five, good guess. So it looks like in five months, there'll be the same amount equal. All right, so if I just double check by plugging in a five, I'm going to check next to see if I'm doing okay. What is 87 times 5 plus 25? Does that really equal 72 times 5 plus 100? I'm going to go to my calculator to figure that out. So 87 times 5 plus 25, so after five months, I'll have paid a total of $460 at Harbor View, or Harbor Square, excuse me, and then at the YMCA, it'd be 72 times five plus 100, and same amount, 460. Now, the next month, we'd add 87 to the Harbor Square and only 72 to the Y, so the Y should be cheaper in the next uh, month. And I'll check that on a spreadsheet in a minute. So what I found is that they're worth the same amount, $460 for five months total for each of these. That's awesome. what I got on mine, but um, you have to watch what it says because I, I think I'm, I had to leave five. That yeah, hang on, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I get, I'm still checking to make sure I'm right. Okay. And to do that, I'm gonna show you how I'd set this up on a spreadsheet. I'm just gonna start a new spreadsheet and this works the same on Google Sheets or Excel or any other spreadsheet like numbers. So I'm gonna set it up pretty much the way I did on my paper. Uh, I wanna know how many months have gone by. I wanna know about Harbor Square Athletic Club and the YMCA and note that if no months go by, initially Harbor Square is going to charge us 25 just to get signed up. YMCA is going to sign us up for $100. And then after that, let's put a couple months later, Harbor Square is just going to take whatever I started with and add 87 to that. So my formula is just going to be equals the number above plus 87. YMCA is going to do something similar. And I'm, I'm calculating my total costs here, so I need to take into consideration what happened before. So take whatever the previous total was and add 72 to it for the YMCA. 
I'm just gonna make a note that I'm finding total costs here. And the formula just says, hey, grab the number above and add 87. So I can just grab that formula and fill it down a ways. And I can do the same with that, heart, that YMCA. I can grab that one formula I typed and then use that magic fill button. And I'm gonna fill down some of my numbers. When you fill a formula, just one cell is sufficient to fill it down. Beware of filling more than one at a time. If you have just a sequence of numbers with no formulas, you need a pattern of two or more to fill it down. And so here, what I can see is that in the fifth month, they are equal. So then it's after the fifth month that YMCA costs less. So in the sixth month and on. So now I gotta figure out how to answer the question that they asked. But without looking back at the question they asked, I could certainly make a statement about this to anyone that asked me. So based on this one right here, I could say something like the YMCA is less expensive than Harbor Square. And this says less expensive, right? They're the same at five. So I would say something like after five months. That, that's what I was trying to tell you. Yeah, thank you. And my point of kind of playing around oops, with this was uh, on the homework, you just get to redo it and redo it and redo it so you get it right. On the test, you just get one shot. So you wanna find a way to assure yourself that you're correct and use whatever tools you can. So we're getting better and better and better at using our calculators for things, but calculators only take us so far. And, and my point was to analyze this question. I have two big tools. I have algebra here to solve it, but I could also build a table on paper or on a spreadsheet to solve it too. And the two of those together should confirm that answer. So whenever possible, try to find another way to analyze it. And spreadsheets are pretty powerful. I've been trying to use those most weeks. So if I go back and look at what I have to work with here, the YMCA will be less expensive if she remains a member for less than or more than some number of months. And we found they were the same at five, so I would select more than five months, which matches the sentence I came up with uh, on my own. All right, cool. So uh, if you have any further questions on this, ask before class is over. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna move on to take a look at the next assignment. And if you're working on this later, if you decide to keep practicing on this throughout the week, you can always message me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Usually I get back to you the same day, if not within 24 hours.